it is so good to see you again. So let me just show you what I have done. My January book, my February book, and what I currently am going to put in my planner. Um, today is the last day of February, and so it's also leap day, which is always exciting. I'll just flip this around and I'll show you what I've got going. And if something works for you, great. If not, I wanna see what you have been doing for this year. So here's my finished January book. And this is a Midori passport size notebook and it's the one with the grid paper in it. Um, you can see here on this blank page, it's just gridded paper. So the whole book was blank. And I really like to do day on two pages. This first page, this, well, first of all, this booklet is perfect because January has 31 days in the month. And so I was able to do um, two page spreads all the way across until the last day. And then I had a few extra pages for uh, just notes and stuff. So this was a great one to do for a whole month. Now, I think probably if you only did... Um, day on one page you could do maybe two months in here or you could do day on two page and then have a couple of weeks like weekly pages but I'm not a weekly pages person um, I really I prefer to have something with uh, the ability to do future planning and then also um, I really just need the space for every day um, and first of all pardon my manicure I cut my finger and so I've been wearing a Band-Aid and it ripped all my nail polish off. And anyway, so uh, pardon that. But so opening it up, I have just this um, front page here where I put kind of my goals for the month. And you can see that I haven't done some of them. So I'll move those forward, even though it's uh, going to be March soon. Yeah. Hey, we're not perfect. We can plan, but plans change, right? So then I have this quote here. It says, a goal is a dream with a deadline. And I got this when I was going through um, Planner Boot Camp. And I just really liked it a lot. So I wrote this as kind of my opening of the new year. Now these tabs here, I just hand wrote on these stickers. I cut them up to fit. And that way I could just easily turn to my week. And really, it wasn't super helpful. Um, so I did it with all of my books, but it, I kind of experimented and played around with it a little bit and they weren't really super helpful. What, oh, ah, I dropped my book. Uh, what I really prefer is just marking the page with like a clip and then I just flip through and find it. They kind of got in the way, but that's okay. This is why I'm experimenting. So, and by the way, I'm sitting on my floor. So just so you know, if you get a little uh, boop, pick a boo of my foot, I apologize. So, gosh, I haven't done these videos in a while, so sorry guys, I am a little rusty, but anyway, you can see here that I did the day on two page layout like this. I printed these out on little teeny tiny like return address labels, and I just did January and then the day, and then I did day of the week labels, um, and I just put those at the top of every page. And I'll show you in February how I actually ended up switching it a little bit. I put them on this side so that way when I'm flipping through, it's just a little bit easier to find the date I'm looking for um, instead of up here. So now I put them over here initially because I thought I could put my schedule here and then I could have this whole day for notes. But like I said, when you're just flipping through, it, you know, I just naturally go this way instead of this way. So I guess it just depends on if you're left or right handed. So, um, so I started out and I also had put this kind of halfway little dividing line down here because I thought I, I wrote my hours down this side, one line for each hour. And I thought on this side, I could do like the half hours. So if I had an appointment at one, and I could write it here, and if I had a put in for 1.30, I could write it here. But I ended up, over time, just not doing that. So <clears throat> I'll show you kind of comparatively in February. You can see I just kind of wrote it somewhat like that. Um, 
so yeah so okay and then I have on here um, today's goals and I try to just keep it to a minimum because what I've learned about myself and maybe this is you and maybe it's not but for me um, I make these huge to-do lists and then I get overwhelmed and I get frustrated with myself that I wasn't able to complete them all um, that is one reason why I like to have day on two pages because I can schedule a task I can go through my calendar and I can see what day is going to be the best day to do that task and I can pre plan to do it on a day in the future and then when I get to that day, I can see, okay, this is how my day is going to look. This is going to take some time. This is going to take some time. This is going to take some time. So I really only have time to do maybe one or two appointments. Or let's say on that day, I've got to do a big thing of, you know, like for instance, on um, Sundays, we do a lot of church stuff. So I'm probably not going to be able to have a huge to-do list. Now you can see here that, um, you know, I planned to do my grocery shopping and my laundry. Another thing that I had tried to do was down here, um, if I didn't pre-plan what I was going to do for dinner, I would write down here what we ended up having, having. And so I'm hoping that that will help me on later on down the line when I need to do some menu planning. I can just flip back and see what I was able to do. So here I try to do... I love these little post-its because I feel like I have double the writing space if I want to. But here I tried to do the uh, DIY Fishes um, time tracking stamp. And I still love this, but have not figured out how to get back into the habit of doing it. Um, how to get back into the habit of using it. And that's not because the, the thing isn't, you know, working. It's just me. I have not figured out how to re-integrate uh, that into my schedule. Um, also, the ink that I use is Memento ink, and I've complained about this before, but it bleeds through, so you can see where I'm having an issue with that. So I did the one stamp, and that was about it. And so I just kind of decorated each day a little bit different. I was having a lot of fun with this because it was my first time trying to decorate a layout, and I get intimidated by a blank page. I just do. Like, I don't know what to... Um, put on it and so I was just kind of going a little bit crazy here uh, just trying to figure out how I wanted it to go but once I got you know a good um, like a good um, pattern going it went fairly quickly and I was able to kind of still get a little bit of creativity in here without it being um, you know overwhelming and so so this is my January just flip through it real quick and I forgot to go through and edit this so I hope that there's nothing uh, too confidential in here but um, I got a little I was having fun with marker this is just a Crayola marker by the way um, I was having a good time playing around with that so um, this is flea medication sticker reminder sticker for my dogs um, And then I had a trip out of state, and so I uh, kind of tried to start journaling a little bit about what I did at, on each day. But the problem was I had run out of space in my planner because it my trip overlapped. I was out there end of January, beginning of February, and I did not pack my February book. So I did some note-taking on the airplane ride, and some. Uh, then I had some blank pages left. One thing that I like about this um, book is that it is perforated in some areas. Um, so you can take the pages and, you know, tear them out if you need to, if you have like a list or something. Um, I didn't really use that feature except maybe once or twice uh, with a grocery list or something. So, so that was uh, something I didn't really do too much. Then I had February, and February um, I ended up using a different book. This is the Moleskine booklet instead of the um, passport size. It's the, I believe this is, I don't know if they call it Field Notes or if that's a different brand, but I think it's about the same size. But you can see the difference when you lay them side by side. You can see that one is significantly taller than the other, but they're about the same width. 
So I felt like this one, I just liked it more. I felt like I had more space to write. I also liked that the corners were rounded um, and that it was black because this green, I love green. And this probably would have worked better for March, but I just felt like black was better because my planner is black. So this was February. February, again, I was trying to get creative. I just threw a post-it note on here and some fabric tape. And the thing I like about these books, again, this is a gridded paper, but it has a little pocket in the back. And so that was kind of handy um, for February. And I got all this washi at Target. And so it was a similar layout in February. I had my to-dos for the month, what my goals were um, in February on the front page. I did the tabs again, but these were made out of fabric tape and um, I just didn't, I ended up stop. I didn't even use them, you know. So I found these paper clips actually. I found these cute little paper clips at Ikea of all places. And they came in a pack that had black, pink, blue, and green. And so I took all the black ones and a couple of pink ones and I think a green one. And then I gave the rest of them to my daughter. But these are really handy. Um, so I have a couple of these in my planners as well. And I just was using that actually a little bit more. And like I said, I moved my stickers to the top corner on this side so that I could flip through and easily find the dates. So this was my February. And again, I did the um, post-it note thing, which gave me extra room for writing. And I started just writing in my schedule. Um, actually, I think I did this in January as well. I just wrote it in on one day of the week. And then that way, it because I don't like repetitive stuff. And so that way, um, I, was, I only had to write it like three or four times throughout the whole book. But when I'm writing something down, it's not hard to just scoot that over and see, okay, what time it is and write in my appointments. So yeah, so you'll notice I don't have the times on every page, but that's why, because the tabbed pages, I guess that was one reason why the tabs are handy. The tabbed pages were the ones that I wrote the schedule on. So yeah, I guess they, they did serve a purpose in some way, I did use them. Just, I just didn't use them to find the weeks like I thought I would. Um, so some of these days aren't filled in, but that's okay. That's life. You know, we've talked about that before where you don't have to use every day in your planner. Like your planner is there to serve you. You do not serve your planners. Don't ever feel like you have to fill up all the pages. Um, you'll notice that as I get closer to um, like the busier times of the month, or the busier times of the week that I have more handwriting in here than others, and that's okay. Um, also, I'm actually kind of surprised at this. Um, I have not been color coding. I used to color code almost religiously, um, if you've gone back and seen some of my past videos, but even though I have the um, four barrel Coletto pen, uh, actually this is one of many, I have um, I have this ivory one that is plastic with a rubber grip, and then I have the, um, the silver one, the gold one, and I have two black ones, um, one for home and one for work. And I still, I don't know, I just kind of got out of the habit. And you know why? I think it's because I find these inks, I found them on Amazon, and so you get a pack that comes with 10 colors, and as I would run out of a color, um, I didn't want to have to buy a new pack because I still had six other colors in this one unused. And so I just kind of stopped color coding because I was just putting in whatever colors um, were full that I had left in the pack. So I think that's why I got out of the habit of color coding. And it seems to be working okay. I kind of have a groove and know what is what now. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of why I stopped color coding. Um, let's see, I don't know what day I left off on showing you, but I'm just kind of flipping through here, showing you some different things. Um, oh, that's an imprint from my, from my pin. That's funny. That's been there the whole time. Um, I, I didn't even wipe this out. I just crossed it out with a different color and wrote in the correction there. And that's okay too, because that's life. So Valentine's Day, um, a lot here on this day. 
lot this day. We're kind of getting into a busier time of the month for me. And um, you'll see that it's going to start filling up a little bit. When I have class or if I have to um, prepare a lesson for something or if there's meetings at school and all of that is all in here. Um, so this was this past weekend and I'm pooped. I'm like absolutely exhausted today, but that's okay. It was so worth it. Um, so that brings us to the end of February. See, here's today. This is everything that's on my list. Um, and this was actually a really cute movie. It totally bombed when it was in the theaters, uh, probably because they didn't market it right. I think it came out like in 2010, which wasn't even a leap year, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, I watched it today. It's really cute. It's very PG sleep day. Um, is it leap day? No, I think it's sleep year actually is the name of the title. Anyway, it's a really cute movie. I just watched it on Netflix. So that brings us to the end of February. So let me show you my March book. Now here's my planner. I got a new charm. It's so cute. I love it. I live in Southern California. Ironically found this at Hobby Lobby while visiting in Illinois. But hey, that's fine. I bought it anyway. So I'm still in my little pocket Chic Sparrow. I am still loving this. What I am not doing any longer is using it as my wallet. Um, it was just way entirely too bulky. Um, I have a lot of cards, a lot of stuff that I carry with me, and it was just too much. So I took all of that out, and I just use it for um, gift cards, uh, business cards. Ow, I scratched my cut on my finger. And in the back, um, I haven't been using this rear pocket yet at all. Um, I still keep my pen in it, of course, and um, that's okay. I still love it. Um, one thing is I do need to buy new elastics from her. Um, one of them is really frayed, and so I had to um, kind of make some adjustments there. So I need to buy some new elastic, but I have been using this, you guys, since this past summer, or Mother's Day. I think I got it for Mother's Day last year, so it's probably been nine months, and I've used this multiple times a day, every day. I am not gentle with this at all. I throw it in my bag. I drag it out of my bag. My bag is a mess. And um, yes, I know that my channel is She Organizes, but hey, I can't keep everything perfect, right? So my bag is a nightmare and this will go in and out, in and out, in and out. Um, it no longer smells like beautiful leather. Instead, it smells a bit like mint gum because I always keep a stash of that in my purse. And so that's life, right? But I'm still loving this. Um, if I were to get another one, I'm probably going to try to get her new leather that's coming out. Uh, I believe it's called Outlander Leather, and I'm so excited about that one. I don't think it comes in black. I'm not sure um, how much it's going to cost, but it looks so floppy and so lovely, and that is exactly what I have been looking for in one of these, and I just can't wait. Um, but until then, I still really, really love this. It has held up amazingly well. Um, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And I'm not even, I am not exaggerating when I tell you, I am not gentle with this at all, like uh, at all. So this is, the stitching is surprisingly held up. I mean, it's just gorgeous. The pockets, um, haven't gotten stretched out. They haven't ripped the pen loop, even though it's stitched in. Um, instead of riveted like in my other Chic Sparrow, it is even holding up really well. And this thing gets caught on everything. Like it's constantly being pulled. So this thing is, I am just loving it. I am in love with it. So um, opening it up, I've got my laminated cover that I made um, out of cardstock and washi tape um, in here. And that surrounds my planner. I've got some morning routine stuff on here, which I always forget to look at, but for the most part, um, except for working out and sometimes laying out dinner, I get this stuff done. So um, I apologize for Sean. He's barking because there's people outside and now he's licking my face. Um, so I've got my vision board back here, which is just taped on. Um, and then I've got my... Um, card holder thing in here, my zip pocket from Midori. I still have that in here. And I've got just a Midori passport notebook in here. And I've been using this for lists and other notes. Um, I use my 
um, another laminated thing. I keep post-it notes attached to it. And this, I just, like seriously, this is not like pretty at all. This is just lists, um, mostly grocery lists, um, and different things like that. So there's, you know, all kinds of stuff in there. Um, and it's blank. This is not the gridded paper. I was trying out to see which ones I liked the best. So this is the blank book. And um, yeah, I like it. So and so let me show you this real quick and then I'll show you my March book. Um, I got this calendar in the dollar section at Target. And uh, I was kind of like excited. Like, I'm not kidding. I was so excited to find this. And the reason being is even though I'm making my own books um, so that I could use day on two pages, I hadn't yet figured out how I wanted to do future planning. I would just stick up something on a post-it note and stick it in the back. And But I was always worried in the back of my mind that I'd lose it. And, you know, I'm thinking, I've got to plan something for April, May, and I don't have an April, May book done yet. So what am I going to do? I found this in the dollar spot. I was so excited. Um, I did have to trim it down a little bit to get it to fit in here, and then I rounded the corners. But otherwise, it is amazingly perfect. Um, it is just a week on two pages. And so obviously, I didn't really put too much in January because I didn't buy it till the end of January. But you can see I started using it for future planning and I have some items blocked out because I wrote down like uh, phone numbers and stuff in here, confirmation numbers. But I've got all of this stuff in here that I can future plan all the way to the end of the year. It's an entire year. So if I just decide one day, which I don't know if this will happen or not, but let's just say I don't want to deal with making a book that month, I'll be fine. I've got this. Um, so I'm just using it for future planning because, like I said, I need the day on two pages so that I can actually, like, accomplish things. But this is so perfect. And so I just shoved that in the back here, and this stays in here, and this stays in here. And that's my husband and I on our last anniversary. So I stuck that in there. And then I just switch out this front book. So here's my March book. Um, I just put some stickers on here and some uh, little cardstock things. My only complaint for this book is this washi. Um, I was super excited to find this washi at Target. It was in the Valentine's Day section, and so I snatched up a couple rolls of it. And it's gorgeous. I love it. It's translucent, so you can layer it. You can do whatever you want with it. But the problem is it sticks. So I have a hard time flipping through sometimes because the pages will stick to one another and watch. They stick and they rip apart and make that noise like that. And sometimes it's not so bad because I just have little pieces, but then sometimes I got, I went through and kind of tried to separate them ahead of time before the video, but then sometimes there's a big piece and I'm afraid that it's going to cause problems. Um, but you know, I just know not to use it in my next planner. I don't know what I'll end up using the washi for. I have some rolls left, but this month I tried something new. I just had these cute little, um, this cute little card. I think I got this from, I had ordered a cover or something from Erin Condren. I don't even or own a planner, but the cover was like on sale for 99 cents or something. So I got one thinking I could make an ARC notebook out of it. Um, and so it came with all these free little like examples of what they can do. And I just cut it up and put it in here because I thought it was pretty. This is my March book. Again, I got one of those Ikea arrows on here and my to do's and my schedule. And yes, I have tabs because I made these all at the same time, but I probably will not do tabs in the next book. Or if I do, it'll just be to delineate where I have written down the numbers because you see I haven't written them on every page so again I just slide it over write down what I want and then that's it so that way I don't have to keep writing and writing and writing but you can just see as I flip through um, kind of what you know I had laid out for March these are all post-it notes from the dollar spot um, and I just buy them you know as they come and so I don't think any of these are available any longer, but I love, love, loved all of the new stuff that came out, and I had to really restrict myself at the beginning of this year. 
Um, this is our wedding anniversary. So I put this picture in there and um, just as like a little, so I can still, you know, plan, but then I can look at his handsome face because it's our anniversary. We'll be married 17 years on March 13th. And uh, yeah, so these are all of my days and stuff. And look, that one's stuck. Oh, geez. Oh, why is that stuck? Oh, because I have the elastic on it. That's okay. Um, this opens up. And so you have all of these days here for planning and whatnot. And again, I love having the post-it note here. It adds color. It also gives me extra writing space. So that's what that's for. Have these little thick cards in there. I don't know if I'll do this again. We'll see. Um, but it was kind of a cute way for me to feel creative. So as you can see, I just really enjoyed being able to work out some of my creativity. And now I understand why everybody does that. It is fun. Um, I just have to do it a month at a time. So I get, you know, kind of burnt out on it. I can't do it. I can't just do it once a week because I have to pre-plan things. Um, but that's okay. This is fine. This works out well. And I can't wait to do my April pages. I already have, um, I already have my, see there's the pocket. I already have my stickers and I already have my items, um, my books so that I can do my April probably towards the end of March. I'll start working on my April book. But in the meantime, here is what I have been using, and I hope that somehow this helps you guys out. Just, I really still, I know that planner videos are kind of like, they've been kind of the it thing for the last couple of years, and so things are kind of moving into more of a journaling capacity, and I'm excited to start that as well. But, you know, I feel like as our lives continue to move forward, our needs are going to continue to change as well. You know, um, we're not going to stay stagnant forever. You know, we're going to have new jobs, new projects. Uh, maybe you'll be starting school. Maybe you'll be finishing school. Um, so we're always kind of growing and changing. That's part of being a healthy human being, right? So our systems need to change along with us. And so um, I'm excited to show you what I've got. So, all right.